Now that I have these tables created, I can also um, insert some values into them using this interface instead of straight SQL. So I can choose the table I want. So let's say person and click on insert. And it's going to give me some fields to fill in um, for the uh, ID. I'm going to let that auto increment. So I'm going to leave it blank, but I can put in some information here. So let's put in me and let's put in one of my dogs <laughs> and hit go and it should insert these values into the table. So now if we uh, browse the person table, we should see that in ID one is me and ID two is one of my dogs. And notice the IDs are automatically set to one and two because I made those auto increment. Um, and then let's go ahead and put some stuff in thing. Click on insert. And what it's doing when I fill these out is it's just constructing the SQL queries for me and running them. I don't know if you noticed that it showed the actual query written. Um, again, I said ID to auto increment, so let's put in a book. Um, I don't actually have an image ready. Um, I wasn't thinking about this, but let's just pretend I'm going to call my um, my picture book.jpg. We'll worry about finding one later. And then let's put in a thing name. Um, let's see, soda. soda.jpg, and hit go. And here is what it wrote. It wrote the query for me, it chose the values. If I go and look at browse, it should show me my values in there. So under ID 1 is a book, and my picture is book.jpg. Under ID 2 is soda, and then the file name will be soda.jpg. And again, I'll find some pictures and name them that later. Um, so this thing's actually functional. And so that is how you put values into tables using the PHP MyAdmin.